and scripture tells us that we repent God will heal our land as it says in Chronicles 2 7 14 if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways then I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sin and I will heal their land and our lady uh, told uh, St. Louis de Montfort that those who recite the rosary on their knees will receive extra graces and so on the rosary said on your knees in public has tremendous power as uh, venerable bishop fulton sheen said the power of the rosary is beyond description so we are gathered here today in carlingford and we're going to pray for uh for several things we're going to pray uh for an end to the entire COVID circumstances and to keep uh, this monkey pox away uh and we'll not have the same reaction as we had with COVID. We want an, an end to the signs of the growing tyranny coming upon our nation where you're not allowed to pray outside abortion clinics. And we want the conversion of our land back to God. But we're also praying in, uh, in repentance and reparation for our past sins, especially sins against women. And we pray for the conversion of our, na of our uh, nation back to God. Uh, and uh, as you know, we, we always meet on the first Friday because of the four conditions which our lady promised uh, to... Uh, Sister Lucia, that if you go to the, fill the following conditions on five consecutive first Holy Saturday Spirit, Amen. So we're going to say the glorious mysteries today, and the first mystery is the coronation of Our Lady as Queen of Heaven. Our Lady, to be the Mother of God, she had to be so holy. Uh, she she had to be. She is by far the holiest person. No no saint, or all the saints put together. No matter how holy they were, put them together and multiply it by a million. They don't come anywhere near the holiness of Our Lady. And the second holiest person ever created had to be the foster father of uh, of uh, <coughs> Our Lady, uh, Saint Joseph. And Saint Joseph, unfortunately, is sorely neglected by so many of us when people don't realise what a, an extremely holy man he is. Anyway, the coronation of the Lady is Queen of Heaven. Uh, in this mystery, we, our Lord, mysterious way, making me do that. It's His fault. <laughs> so, uh, sorry about that, folks. But uh, anyway, I finished with the coronation, and I even know I just have to do it back to front. Uh, therefore, this great thought and this mystery is to praise and exalt in the glory of our mother and our queen. Uh, so, one moment in heaven will be sufficient reward for all the pains and sorrows of a hundred lives here. And the final word: let us remember that every good act, every act of love we do in this world will increase our merit in heaven an act of love that any of us can perform as jesus said give me a straw and i will use it uh, and that that straw will be a recompense forever in heaven and the happiness of heaven should be our aim where we see our lady in her coronation it's perfect complete and absolute and there we shall have no pains no sorrows nothing but infinite immense complete and perfect happiness uh, there and that's uh, there all our desire shall be satisfied and our joy will be full so first mystery the resurrection sorry please Amen. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and in the hour of our death. Resurrection is the greatest feast of the church because it, tri it commemorates the triumph of God over them, over sin and over the devil. So if the resurrection hadn't happened, the Catholic Church would not exist because it would have no meaning. So Paul said if Christ had not risen, our faith would be in vain. And so the, Jew the Jewish people at the time understood this fully well, so much so that they asked Pilate for, for a body of soldiers to guard the Holy Sepulchre. But then he said, but this imposter has died, and on the third day he will rise from the dead. So we has to, the, the tomb had to be guarded in case the disciples come and steal away his body and say that he has written. So the, the, the guard was put on the tomb. When our Lord, as he foretold, did actually arise, then the Jewish people at the time sought to deny the resurrection because they knew the power that the resurrection would have in creating this new faith and that they, the faith that they were practicing would uh, have some difficulties so jesus died and suffered for each one of us and he also rose from the dead for each one of us uh, why so we why can't we understand that our lord has done what he has done for us by becoming man expressing for each one of us and by dying on the cross for each one of us and by rising from the dead for each one of us uh, these were stupendous uh, acts of love so uh, another very useful thing about it is that um, St. Paul said that the resurrection is the feast of our faith. It is the basis and the ground of the faith. Had Christ not risen, our faith would be in vain. Therefore, we have to ask in this mystery, which we've already said, above all other, all other graces, for a clear, a vivid, and a strong, and an ardent faith. Now, the ascension of our blessed Lord into heaven. Uh, in this mystery, we contemplate the delight and the joy of the Blessed Virgin the apostles and the disciples, and seeing the divine master going up to heaven, were resplendent with glory. Many beautiful thoughts suggest themselves when reciting uh, this second glorious mystery. First of all, we should rejoice with all our hearts as the apostles did on seeing this new triumph of our Lord. Uh, we have followed him in his sorrows, and it is now fitting that we take part with him in his joys. A second thought is though that the apostles they were very sad and fearful at the thought of the separation from their very beloved master. For not only did their poor hearts burn with love for him, but they felt their own weaknesses. They're left alone, weak, uh, uneducated men uh, who felt completely lost now that he had gone. This was before, obviously before the descent of the Holy Spirit. So what were they to do without their master? Who would they turn to? Who would, uh, who would give them any help? He'd been there all the time for them. Yet after the, the, the recension, they returned to Jerusalem and they were rejoicing despite all their fears. And why were they rejoicing? They were rejoicing at the ascension because our Lord had promised them that though he was going up to heaven, he would be with them all until the end of time. So we must think of him, we must call him, we must trust in him. 
are happy is a thousand times to those who realize the presence of God. And for all of us here who have faith, uh, as St. Alphonsus Liguri said, very few people ever thank God for having your faith. You should be down on your knees uh, thanking God that you have the faith because the faith is what will save you in the end. And uh, so we will now say the ascension. And Father Junius from Uganda is going to say it in the, one of the languages of Uganda, which is Luganda. <laughs> Remember Maria, you the name of Mukamarina, we were able to some because of none, a year's one or wind down a one. Mother of God, pray for us now and the hour. Remember Maria, you the name of Mukamarina, we were able to some because of none, a year's one or wind down a one. Mother of God, pray for us now and the hour. Remember Mario to the name of Kamalina, we were able to make some bacas for none. They is one who went down a warm, sir. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and here for them. Remember Mario to the name of Kamalina, we were able to make some bacas for none. They is one who went down a warm, sir. No, no, this is this is the Fatima. Fatima. Or Lady of Fatima. Oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins and save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are most evil and worse. For Mary conceived without sin. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. That was a beautiful deck of words. He said with a lot of feeling. So with the sent of the Holy Spirit, uh, the third glorious mystery of the sent of the Holy Spirit has a very important and consoling lesson for all of us. Our Lord uh, chosen the apostles, weak, ignorant, and timid men, yet they were destined not only to convert the people, not a nation, but the whole world, the whole world which had sunk into vice and depravity. So he chose weak men for his mighty work to teach us that the weakest man with the aid of his grace, can do all things. Uh, as uh, the great saint one time said, uh, 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 Catholic Siena one time said, if we all did what God asks us to do, he'd set the world afire. So, uh, there we go. After the section of our Lord, uh, the apostles were to gather together in the company with God's mother, the Holy Spirit, descended on them in tongues of fire and sat on the head of each of them. So, in a single moment, these simple, simple, ignorant, timid men were filled with the wisdom and the strength of God. I don't know if any of you have ever been touched by the Holy Spirit, but I, I've met one person who was, and uh, they said that the power and the wisdom and the strength, it didn't last with them, but it touched them momentarily, and it was a profound effect. So these, this, the, 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 this strength and wisdom 
stands up and tells him he's pushing her back, giving the strength of the thunder about this horrific death. So the weakness gave way to an amazing strength, and their fears were dispelled, their blindness was lifted, and they found it all this, all the scholars who'd been studying uh, scripture for years, and they converted thousands of people. So just to finish, these um, 12 unlettered fishermen, like 12 mighty conquerors, took, they went around, the, they shared the world out among themselves and said, you go to India, you go left, you go right, I go north, you go south. And between the 12 of them, they undertook to carry the word of the Lord to the utmost ends of the earth. So they braved the fury of the Roman empires and the hatred they had for them. And they despi uh, despite all their threats, and they, they despised the, all the threats these uh, Roman emperors put on them, and they defied their tortures. And they were all, every one of them was killed, uh, apart from John. John was the only one who died a natural death, but the other 11 uh, suffered horrific uh, martyrdom. And uh, they confounded the philosophers of Greece and Rome, and they penetrated into the remotest and most barbarous regions of the world and triumphed wherever they went over the powers of darkness and over the powers of corruption. So, third, the descent of the Holy Spirit, or the descent of the Holy Ghost. And could Raphael please? Zdrowaś Maryjo, łaski pełna Pan z Tobą, błogosławionaś Ty między niewiastami i błogosławiony owoc żywota Twojego, Jezus. Zdrowaś Maryjo, łaski pełna Pan z Tobą, błogosławionaś Ty między niewiastami i błogosławiony owoc żywota Twojego, Jezus. Zdrowaś Maryjo, łaski pełna Pan z Tobą, błogosławiona Ty między niewiastami i błogosławiony owoc żywota Twojego, Jezus. Zdrowaś Maryjo, łaski pełna Pan z Tobą, błogosławiona Ty między niewiastami i błogosławiony owoc żywota Twojego, Jezus. Chwała Ojcu i Synowi i Duchowi Świętemu. O mój Jezus, Full 
of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Holy God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in the snow and the hour of our death. Amen. I'm taking a writer of a book called How to Be Happy and How to Be Holy by Father Paul O'Sullivan. Now, the Paul, Father Paul O'Sullivan obviously has a profound face, much more profound than mine, uh, profound love for a lady and uh, a lady, uh, a God and Saint Joseph. So uh, it's well worth getting because it's full of uh, How to Be Happy and How to Be Holy by Father Paul O'Sullivan. He was an Irish priest who uh, spent many years in Portugal and wrote a lot of very read, very very readable books. Good, good books, a good book about Perkity, read me or read. Anyway, in, in this book, I just it was perhaps his God's mysterious ways because the coronation of Our Lady in Heaven is a much longer chapter than the other uh, three chapters. So, just to recap and finish on what the bit I hadn't done before is Saint Bernard doesn't hesitate to say that uh, Our Lady was uh, the holiest person by uh, no sinner. Uh, by far the holiest person to ever live, holier than all the other saints put together. And uh, he also uh, tells us all that if we are in trouble, we should all have recourse to Mary. Uh, I, heard, I re read an interesting thing the other day. It said, Mary is the noblest gem uh, in creation. Uh, she is uh, wisdom and holiness incarnate. She is, she is ever, ever honoured, and uh, you never guess who says that, Martin Luther, the original uh, noblest, gem in, uh, no, noblest, noblest gem in Christianity after Christ. Uh, in, in this here, uh, our, our lady, Father uh, O'Sullivan says, One moment in heaven will be sufficient reward for all the pains and sorrows of a hundred like so let's remember that every good act we do the, the straw that i mentioned jesus one time said uh to sister faustina give me a straw and i so i mean you just see you, you go to, to pick a, a sweet then you say i'll not go for the biggest one i'll go for the next one that's a straw and the, jesus can use that to do great good um I, want, I read one time that even sometimes one drop of holy water spread on the graves is sufficient to release the soul from purgatory so some, we don't know how these tiny acts, other people spend hundreds or thousands, thousands of years in purgatory, 
Uh, and uh, they need masses and a drop of holy water isn't going to do them a lot of good, but it's going to do them something better than nothing. So the happiness of heaven should be our aim. It's perfect, it's absolute, it's complete. And there we shall have no pains, no sorrows, nothing but infinite, immense, complete and perfect peace and happiness. There all our desires be satisfied and our joy be full. So Our Lady, Mother of God, help us understand you who were in heaven through the coronation, what this is like. And Father uh, O'Sullivan ends on this note. It's lamentable that many Catholics seem to lose all the consolations, to miss all the beauty of our holy religion. Our religion is a religion of love, of peace, of happiness. Many fail to enjoy the wondrous love of God to them. They seem to have no idea of his friendship, and that's the case in the world today at the moment. And he finishes on these last few words. They may speak lovingly to him in prayer, but instead they make prayer a penance, they make it into a burden. He dies to them really and truly at every morning in the Mass, and they don't seem to understand it. They certainly do not feel it. Why not ask our sweet mother to give us this foretaste of the joys of heaven, which she'd have in her holy religion on earth. The fifth, the coronation of our blessed lady as queen of heaven and earth. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth. God, today our daily bread, give us our trust. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and in the hour of our death. Amen.
promise with this prayer is that anyone who prays it or, or who hears it will never die a sudden death, will never be drowned, will not be overcome in battle. It goes like this. You join me if you know it. O St. Joseph, whose protection is so strong, so great, so prompt, before the throne of God I place in you all my interests and desires. O St. Joseph, do assist me by your powerful intercession and obtain from your divine Son for me all spiritual blessings, so that, having engaged here below your heavenly power, I might offer my thanksgiving and homage to you, the most loving of fathers. O St. Joseph, I never weary of contemplating you with Jesus asleep in your arms. I dare not approach while he reposes near your heart. Press him in my name, kiss his fine head for me, and ask him to return that kiss when I draw my dying breath. O St. Joseph, patron of departing souls, pray for me. Now is there someone who wanted to lead a litany? Virgin Mary, Lord have mercy on us. Christ have mercy on us. Lord have mercy on us. Christ hear us. Christ graciously hear us. God the Father of heaven have mercy on us. God the Son, Redeemer of the world have mercy on us. God the Holy Ghost have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God have mercy on us. Holy Mary have mercy on us. Holy Mother of God, pray for us. Holy Virgin of Virgins, pray for us. Mother of Christ, pray for us. Mother of Divine Grace, pray for us. Mother most pure, pray for us. Mother most chaste, pray for us. Mother invalid, pray for us. Mother undefiled, pray for us. Mother most amiable, pray for us. Mother most admirable, pray for us. Mother of Good Counsel, pray for us. Mother of our Creator, pray for us. Mother of our Savior, pray for us. Virgin most prudent, pray for us. Virgin most venerable, pray for us. Virgin most renowned, pray for us. Virgin most powerful, pray for us. Virgin most merciful, pray for us. Virgin most faithful, pray for us. Mirror of justice, pray for us. Seat of wisdom, spiritual vessel, pray for us. Vessel of honor, pray for us. Singular vessel of devotion, pray for us. Mystical rose, pray for us. Power of David, pray for us. Power of Ivory, pray for us. House of Gold, pray for us. Ark of the Covenant, pray for us. Gate of Heaven, pray for us. Morning Star, pray for us. Help of the Sick, pray for us. Refuge of Sinners, pray for us. Comforter of the Afflicted, pray for us. Help of Christians, pray for us. Queen of Angels, pray for us. Queen of Patriarchs, pray for us. Queen of Prophets, pray for us. Queen of Apostles, pray for us. Queen of Martyrs, pray for us. Queen of Confessors, pray for us. Queen of Virgins, pray for us. Queen of all saints, pray for us. Queen conceived without original sin, pray for us. Queen assumed into heaven, pray for us. Queen of the Most Holy Rosary, pray for us. Queen of Peace, pray for us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, pray for us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, pray for us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, pray for us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Grant, we beseech thee, O Lord God, that we, thy servants, may enjoy perpetual help of mind and body, and by the glorious intercession of the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, be delivered from present sorrow and eternal enjoy eternal happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The ocean star, guide of the wanderer here below, thrown on life's search, we claim thy care, save us from To, uh, give us a final blessing. I just want to acknowledge uh, the the beautiful statue that has been donated 
uh, to our cause and also the beautiful speakers. So like, if you join me in saying a Hail Mary for the donors, I don't even know who they are. It doesn't matter, a lady knows, just for their blessing. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou, most woman, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Um, I just want to salute every one of you and thank you for being here, uh, uh, taking your place in the public square for Our Lady. Jesus tells us that if you acknowledge me before men, I will acknowledge you before God, my Father in heaven. So I salute every one of you for stepping out here and letting your face be associated with the honor of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Um, I'd like to also invite uh, all you men to join me. Uh, this day, two weeks up Croke Patrick, we're having a men's time of reparation for the ways that we men have uh, not taken proper responsibility for the women in our lives. And on behalf of all the men of Ireland who haven't taken proper responsibility in their lives, because if we, we men had taken proper responsibility, there wouldn't be an abortion crisis in Ireland today. Um, you, and whilst it is a day of reparation and prayer, it is also a day of crack and great camaraderie. We've done it for about six or seven years. And uh, then in the evening, uh, we're going for dinner in Westport. A uh, mass at the top, dinner at Westport afterwards, and then a men's conference that night, and the next morning, men's breakfast. And men's talk, we'll have the Grey Friars, the Friars of the Renewal, uh, joining us that weekend. I was up Crook Patrick on Monday, and it absolutely bucketed out of the heavens. So if you're coming, which I hope you all do, uh, that uh, you need to be prepared for all eventualities, a, a very bad day or indeed a nice day like this. And ladies, have you any men in your life that you know would uh, be advantaged by a day, uh, please do encourage them to come. Uh, at our website, Human Life uh, International, humanlife.ie, has the, all, the, all the details, or you can talk to me afterwards. Um, then finally, I was going to do a final blessing. The Lord be with you. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.